And this is for all yeah, metal music. Yeah. How's the tour been going so far? It's been going really good. Yeah, it, the support has been good. And uh, we only had two smaller problems. Uh, PA died on us in Florida, and yesterday the bus broke down. Uh, but that's just two small problems. We are used to have more hassles, you know, when we're on tour. So this has been almost a too easy tour for us. So we are more than satisfied. Yeah, I heard about the show that got canceled because the bus broke down in Maryland. What happened with that? Uh, yeah, well, it was uh, this part of uh, the gas line, you know, and it was a small, small hole. It was just a small, tiny hole. But uh, it took hours and hours until we managed to get that part we needed to to continue up the road. And, uh, you know, it was Saturday. All the places, all the you know, mechanicals had closed. So I think, you know, I, I don't know how many hours we were waiting to, yeah, to get it fixed. And when we have finally got it fixed, it w we were seven hours away from the venue. And I think it was like, I can't remember what the time was, but it was pretty late. So we, you know, we, we talked to the promoter and said, we don't mind, you know, we play as soon as we get there. We do everything to make, you know, we skip the sound check. We just bring up the gear and start playing. <laughs> and we cut the set a little bit shorter, but uh, apparently they felt it, it was going to get too late. So, so they put basically pulled the plug. How's your set for this tour? Like, do you do mostly newer stuff or older stuff? Or is it a mixture of old and new stuff? As always, we always uh, have a, a mix from uh, all, o all our albums, and so do we on this tour as well, so I, I don't see the point in, you know, just playing new songs or just playing old songs, you know, I think, you know, you know, the crowd, you know, you have a variety of crowd, you know, some people like th this album better than the other and, you know, vice versa, so I think, you know, the best a band can do is try to get a decent mix from from all the albums you know try to put together a best of set list you know for every tour that's what we are trying to do do you play the same songs each each night or do you do different songs different nights uh some night uh, we might change songs but uh we, we try to stick to two to one set list how are the fans in North America compared to the fans in South America and Europe and the rest of the world? Uh, well, it's it's not that big of a difference. Uh, the difference between America and, uh, and Europe is that in Europe we don't have these uh, mosh pits uh, like you have over here. Uh, people are more into headbanging, just you know, going wild in that way. Here you got uh, North America got the mosh pits, which you know, it's it's North America. Yeah. So that's one difference. But other than that, uh, I think you know, metal people are kind of universal in in the way they they are. You know, uh, some people you know some continents uh, show show us maybe more uh, energetic side of. of or their support to the band and uh, but other than that it's not such a big difference I think um, I heard you had some problems in Peru at the end in last October <laughs> if I told that story a lot but what happened with that uh, well it, it just all hell broke loose <laughs> basically and uh, yeah I, well, to, to make a long, long story short, uh, you know, Caligula got sick, and normally if one of us gets sick, we cancel the show completely. But this, you know, we were, all, you know, so far away in Peru, and it's not every day we're in, in that part of the world. And the promoter, he was begging us to play with or without Caligula. So uh, after lots of discussion, we said, okay, you know, the promoter said that the fans gonna really, you know, appreciate that you, you, you know, you still go up on stage without Caligula, just give them something. And, you know, we always, you know, try to do the very best we can for the fans. 
but apparently no one got it, you know, so. Uh, but there's also another side, which I heard afterwards, that, uh, okay, of course, some people were upset about us playing without, uh, without Caligula. Uh, and these people couldn't understand when I, when I you know, I, I had held the microphone that night and I tried to speak to the crowd, but nobody fucking understood English. <laughs> so it was like talking to the wall and, you know, I, the more I said, you know, the more people got upset. So it was like doomed, I was doomed to fail, whatever I did. Uh, but on the other hand, uh, then I heard that uh, apparently the security guard had started fighting uh, in the crowd, which I didn't see, but... This apparently happened. I uh, heard uh, the same story from s from sev several fans who, who was at the show. So the reason the big riot broke loose after we played was uh, apparently because they, they were after some security guards. That's why there also th it's been this story about the car was destroyed outside. And what I heard is that everybody thought it was the security guards car. That's why they destroyed it. <laughs> You know, he, he's been hitting, you know, fighting with some, some, some crowd people. So, so they were more upset at, at, at the way they were treated by the security than, uh, than yeah, you know, the disaster we put on, you know. So, but you know, it's, it's hard when you, when you can't communicate with people, it, it's hard to make anything work. And uh, there's also more stuff behind, but uh, I don't think it is for the public. Alright. Um, did you have any problems getting a visa to come over here? A lot of fans have those problems. No, we, we've been you know playing in the States several times before and we always have been approved the visa wor working visa. And uh, it's always the same guy working at the US Embassy in Sweden, you know. And he always recognizes us when he shows up. <laughs> Even if it's a big gap in between every, you know, the times we we go there, but uh, yeah, it, it's, it's the very same guy ever since you know since ten years back, you know, uh, and, and he's just cool when we show up. Um, what are your plans for after the tour? Uh, we're gonna uh, we have some DVD material under under editing and. One guy is uh, working on the editing, I guess, and uh, another guy is uh, working on the sound. So we're gonna go through all the <coughs> all the sound files when we get back home and see if we need to, you know, fix something and uh, yeah, mix it and try to release it as soon as possible. That's the first thing, and uh, we have a few weeks break when we're gonna work on that. And uh, then I think the next show is on Inferno Festival in Norway. Uh, you have this mm, metal boat, a ferry, you know, we're gonna play on a ferry uh, <laughs> together with Wasp, I just found out uh, Nagelfar and some other bands and uh, yeah, we got a few shows lined up already Where was the DVD filmed? Uh, we w we have several shows recorded we, one, one show is from Poland one uh, Paris one uh, uh, Holland, I believe, and uh, we got a couple of shows from South America too. All right, that's about all I had planned. Anything you'd like to say in conclusion? Not much. Yeah, check out if you haven't checked out our latest album, Material to the Sanctus. You should check it out and you know. All right. Um, thanks for the interview. I'll see you on stage.